and gentlemen And all the lovers around the world I want to talk about the one I love That's Tanja That's Anthony And, and we're, we're the Thompsons, Thompsons. Come, Come on wine with us, us. So today, guys, we are going to be getting juicy, y'all. We are going to be talking about why sex is such an important factor in a relationship, y'all. We're going to be talking okay. about how to keep it spicy for y'all men, y'all, and for y'all ladies. Okay, check y'all Yes. Thank you. We got to keep it spicy for the women out there as Yes, y'all. Well. So, so. Um, if you are new to our channel, make sure you please subscribe to our subscribe. channel. Um, if you are definitely already give subscribed, like this video, comment, give us your opinion, um, give yes. us your thoughts on the video, um, and, and we'll go from there. We definitely appreciate everyone who's already subscribed. Yes, we appreciate everybody. We are at 100 subbies, y'all, so we appreciate y'all. I know hundo, that hundo, might hundo, not hundo. seem like a lot to everybody else, but to us, it is a huge deal. So we appreciate everybody and their support. And also, stay tuned to the end of this video because we are going to be talking about our giveaway. And so stay tuned for that, y'all. We'll be stay giving y'all the details. All right. So what we're going to do, we're instantly going to go ahead and jump right into the topic. Um, today's topic, once again, is um, is sex a factor in the relationship and why? Um, we both was kind of torn in between. Um, we going both ways. So we're both going to... opinion and I have mine, y'all. Yeah, so. so we're going to hop back and forth. We're definitely going to have a hot debate going. I am drinking red Moscato. Baby, what you drinking? I got that young pink, pink Moscato going on yes. by that young bear of the foot. Um, so um, we're definitely <laughs> going to hop ourselves back into the topic today. The yes. topic, once again, is is sex a factor in a relationship and why? Yes. Um, like I said before, we're definitely torn with two. And I feel as though um, sex is definitely an important factor in a relationship. Some people, of course, have religious beliefs um, with sex in a relationship. Some people um, with the religious beliefs, they even wait to get married to have sex um, because that, that's the religious belief they are supposed to get married. I mean, that's right by God. You're that's right by but, God, of course. But yeah. some people, of course, have other beliefs and, and go different ways. But, I mean, and, um, and I don't agree with that because I believe in God, but at the end of the day, I still believe that I need to be testing these waters before I just type the knot and, and that's just my opinion. So, I mean, I am a Christian. I do believe in God, but at the same time, I need to test this out before I go ahead and tie the knot. What if I marry you and I don't like it? What if the sex is whack? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be with somebody where our sex game is not hitting on nothing because, in my opinion, sex is a very high factor in the relationship. It it's is. not everything, I mean, but it almost is. Yeah. I mean, it's what keeps y'all together. It's what keeps y'all close. So, you know, sex is definitely a main thing and, and it needs to be had. It needs to be talked about. <clears throat> You need to know what your partner likes. You need to know what your partner dislikes. Try new things. So, yes, I, I do believe that you should have sex before marriage. Just my opinion. Because how are you going to know what you're marrying into um, if you don't test it first? Yeah, that's definitely true. And I definitely do agree with that 100%. I mean, I can't really argue with that. Um, I wouldn't want to marry into something that I wouldn't like mm -hmm. um, sexual-wise for the rest of my life. Um, if it's not good to me, I mean, I definitely wouldn't want to be with that <laughs> no. for the rest of my life. So <laughs> exactly. you definitely want to test it out before you just go ahead and get it all tied up and shit. Yeah. Um, but sex is a lot of emotion. Yes, um, definitely. If you don't have a physical or, or emotional connection with your partner, um, during sex or a touch, a kiss, if y'all don't feel, there should be some type of feeling um, eight years later I mean, between us, there's, there's still some type of little... Oh, yeah, we still have feelings, we... but I don't agree with what you're saying right now because I feel like there's a lot of men out there that go, and oh, women, no. that have sex and they have no emotions no involved. Emotion at all. There's nothing involved. Okay. They don't have to give. They don't have to care about nothing. Of course. All they want to do is bang, bang, ski, ski, get their rocks off and but move around. Period. You understand... You understand that, but they're not a committed relationship. Right, but what we're talking about is you're saying in a relationship, so a relationship period. But I mean, I don't know. I don't agree that you always have to have emotion involved. Sometimes you just, I don't, I don't believe that. When you're know. in a relationship, whether it's going to be boyfriend and girlfriend or physically just husband and wife, there should be some type of relationship. Well, of course, uh, yeah, there, yeah, there should be emotion, definitely. I'm yeah. not saying that it shouldn't be emotion, but I'm saying that there's a lot of people that do have emotionless sex and. I yeah. even do think that some married people have emotionless sex. I think some people that have been together for forever they have emotionless sex. They just um, do it they just because. They feel like they're or... obligated, especially when you're married. 
some people feel like you're just obligated to basically please And that's your- opinion. How do y'all, um, what do you guys think that if, when we give it up, so us females, if we give it up right out the gate, give it up fast, do you think that that will make a man look at us different or not have, like, end up falling more in love with us and then now at this point they're just only in love with our body? Or do you think that you could start off with a sexual relationship and then that can grow into um, love and everything like that? So I would like y'all to go down in the comments. Let us know what y'all think. Let us know how y'all feel. Do y'all think that if we give it up too early, that that's going to basically ruin a relationship. So let me know what y'all feel. Baby, how you feel about that? Well, of course, some people automatically think that if you give it up early, females, if y'all give it up early, they automatically think that y'all a hoe and y'all this, that, and the other because y'all basically had sex with this person um, early, whether it's been a day, two, a week. Um, some people have standards for giving it up or... Um, but honestly, that's another topic. Like how long is the right time before we have sex? Like, everybody has their own thing. Some people say 30 days. People some people say two weeks. People feel comfortable, actually, with the But person. no, there are some people out there that literally have a timeline on when they think sex should be had in a relationship before you look like the hoe or whatever the case may be. So, yeah, y'all, let us know how y'all feel because we and definitely want to know. For that reason, there's um, women out there that actually... Um, have men wait to have sex. Oh yeah, um, plenty of them. Because they want to see if they they actually the men actually like them for who they are. Yeah. Um, rather than just having sex with them or just their sex in a relationship. So some women have had the men wait three months before they exactly. have sex. Just to see if the man is still faithful. He's not going to cheat. He's not going to go and have sex exactly. with somebody else. Yeah. Um so That's true. I don't know why women do that. That's something that they do. Um <laughs> we're definitely not gonna let y'all wait. If y'all said come on on the first day, we're definitely probably going to go on the first day. Some men, some men, some men. Because there's some men that have standards to it. 95 out of 5, the other 5, yeah, (laughs) don't know. But I know the 95% of men, yeah, first day, if that's what you want to do, if that's where we're feeling each other, then we're probably just going to go there. You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, but there's females that want to go there. And I mean, we can just give a little bit of our background. When we first met, um, it was like a week before we had sex. I mean, we were super young. But, I mean, that's just what we did. And everything ended up being fine with us. So, I don't agree that it has to be, you know what I'm saying, all these months and all this time. I think it's just whenever y'all feel comfortable with each other. Whenever it's y'all feel comfortable. And it's just, or sometimes it's in the moment. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm Y'all just chilling, y'all drinking, whatever the situation is, whatever the scenario is. Then, you know what I'm saying? It gets hot. It gets, you get ready. And then it's time to go. And I feel like that really should not be planned. Sex should not be planned. It should, it should just happen naturally. That's really when it's going to be the best. Yeah. So, yeah. And another topic to talk on to talk about real quick as well is trying to balance sex with children and when you have kids, it is super hard, y'all. It like is. you really have to make time for it. And sex, like I said, to me is very important. It needs to be up here in a relationship. Um, so if you ask me, you know, it is it is really hard it when you first a, have a kid. Um, it's a big factor as well because if you're not having sex um in your relationship, then that's gonna cause for such a uh, sexual frustration. And then, then at that, that point in time, people cheating if, yeah, if they're yeah. not strong enough to stand it. Or you guys start to get bickering with each other. You're into it all the time because each person is sexually frustrated. And so they need what they need because everybody has everybody needs. Everybody has needs. So. But actually, um, I was watching something and, and there are people out there that like really don't care that much about sex. Like there's people out there that really don't have to have it. Um, I actually just was watching something. I can't remember what it was, but she basically let her man have sex with other people because she didn't really care to have sex like that. So she let him get his desires and needs met by other women, but they were together. That was her So they man. had an open relationship? Not really an open because she wasn't doing anything. She didn't really care about sex, but she was letting him go and do what he needs to do because she knew that he was a man, he has needs, but she knew that she couldn't fulfill him because that's just not what she wanted to do. She, she doesn't really care that much about sex. Now, I'm the opposite, y'all. I, let's get it in. You know what I'm saying? Whenever we got a second... Whenever you got a second, whenever the kids, you know what I'm saying? You got to get it in when you fit it in, y'all. So that's just my tip to all the moms out there, all the fathers out there that actually are take care of their kids with their kids. Um, you know what I'm saying? Or don't have a sitter all the time to have a long time. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you get that chance, make it happen. Like yeah. whenever they are, they're down for a nap, whenever it is, y'all, y'all got to pull tricks to the back, get it in. Like you got to get it in when you fit it in. Bathroom, living room, <laughs> wherever. 
um, wherever. The closet, outside in the car. <laughs> No, you can't go outside the car, baby. You can't go outside the car. If you get to where the kids at? I'm saying you just get somebody to watch them real quick. Did we just say? Did we just say if you don't have a sitter? Because let's be real. So y'all, we don't really have a sitter ever, barely ever. Literally, when we get a sitter, it's a fucking cold day in hell. Yeah, so it's definitely hard to make time, but you have to find time. And I feel like when things or sometimes, you know, sex, um, it can get old. You know, if you don't keep keep it spicy and try new things, both mm -hmm. of y'all pull mm -hmm. new tricks out, mm -hmm. it can get old. It can get stale. I mean, we've been together for eight years, Got so I feel like, things. oh my God, these hand motions, I can't. Yeah. But um so yeah, I feel like uh it does it can get stale. It can and you have to do things you gotta to pull tricks out of the bag, you have to try new things. Um get it get involved with stuff. Exactly. Ladies, um, be, don't be scared. Lingerie, baby like lingerie. I love lingerie. All it can right. be edible. Ooh. It can be <laughs> silk. Ooh. It can be motherfucking see through. Cashmere velvet. Uh, I don't yes. give a damn what it is. Take it off. It's gonna come off at the end of the day. Exactly. So yes. It doesn't make me no never mind. But that's uh something else for the books. Oh, that's a story for another day. That's a story for Sounds another like somebody's day. getting a little excited, y'all. Story time. Oh, yeah, y'all. So, on that note, so we're going to move around from that topic. Cause All right, y'all. So, um, so, so, our next thing that we're going to move on to is the information for our cash giveaway. Hey, Let's get yes, that money. Yes, y'all. First thing, we want to say thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. We cannot you. say it enough. Like, I know 100 subscribers really is not that much for a lot of people, but for us, just starting YouTube, and it hasn't even been up for a week yet, I don't believe. So, just give the type of love that y'all been showing us. We really, really appreciate really, everybody really even taking time out of day day to even hit that subscribe button liking our video sharing it you know doing everything we really appreciate everybody's support so with that being said you know we're not made of money but we are going to do a ten dollar giveaway and we're going to do a twenty dollar giveaway and what we need y'all to do is he can explain it to y'all what we need y'all to do okay so um most people already did they did go ahead and subscribe to the video yes. um once you see this portion of the video we'll like you to go ahead and in the comment button you can go ahead and send us your um cash app tag and like the video um once you send us a cash app tag of course we'll go through get everyone's um put you guys in a raffle and we'll Draw. We'll pull two um, random names. Two random people, and we will reach out to you. Um, and as I told people before, we are only paying out cash app. That is the only way that we will pay out. There is no um, no other alternate payout um, no. ways that we have. So, so cash uh, if there is, is no cash app, we, unfortunately, we will have to I move. mean, but you can download cash app. It's a we very easy app it's to get. It's very, very easy. So, yes, and we both can get $5. So, you know for what? the invite. Yes. So, so yeah. Put y'all, put y'all cash apps in the comment below. Before, before you do that, like this video, y'all. Like, like this video. Like. Share this video. Tell anybody and everybody that you know if y'all are interested in this. And please let us know, y'all, if there's anything else y'all want to see from us. We already told y'all we will be doing mukbangs, challenges. But if y'all, anything y'all want to see right now, let us know. Any other new topics, don't be afraid. Y'all can inbox us on here. Anthony's Facebook. Um, Just get get to us, y'all. Let us Our know what y'all want to see. Our links is up. Um, the links should be in the description below as well. So you can click on the links to the Facebook. It'll take you straight to the Facebook or my and Instagram. the Instagram. So if you guys need to hit us up then you definitely can hit the link. We appreciate appreciate everyone yes. once again for the love, for the like, for the comments, for the subscribe. Um I guess we'll wrap it up. All right, right y'all. We today. appreciate y'all. Um and once again, thanks for joining the Thompsons, y'all. We are gang, the Thompsons gang gang gang. gang, gang. It's Friday train. Let's thanks for it, unwinding baby. with us. Ladies and gentlemen, and all the lovers around the world, I want to talk about the one I love.